Yesterday we did education to the local healthcare workers to include doctors and nurses from the area, and that went real well. The topics that we were just that we discussed were medical facts and histories that we got during the um, site surveys, and basically where I sat down with the local population and said, "Hey, what are your what are your chief complaints in the area?" And then I used those topics to build a team, a multinational, a eight-country multinational team to build the, um, the doctor and nurse team that's out here today and yesterday. Today we're doing limited, limited treatment and we're actually addressing specific issues with, um, with what we found in the surveys. Well, we have eight nations and um, this is the first time ever that, the, uh, that China's participated. So China brought five people with them, a mixed bag of um, doctors and nurses. And then we have Japan, Indonesia, Malaysia, South Korea, Singapore, the U.S. and Thailand. For next year, I hope that we either increase our partnership and have more countries involved. So we're trying to shift our focus more towards education. And with that, we're, we're trying to educate the local doctors and nurses so that they can treat their own people. Because a lot of the stuff that we see today are like enduring diseases, the stuff that's gonna take not just a couple of days and a couple of pills, but a couple of years and a change in practices and, uh, and way of life and, and, and how they live. So that's a lot of part of the treatment. It's nothing that we can really do in a couple of days, seeing maybe five or 600 patients. It's, uh, it's a change in lifestyle and it's something that starts with educating the doctors and nurses here, which I think we're doing. And if we could continue this legacy, then, then we'll be doing good.